peace y'all honey magic here i'm back and this is going to be my 10 month postpartum update video it's crazy to even think that it's been 10 months since i've been a mom officially but yeah so let's get into it um i think i made a playlist for like my motherhood journey so i will just link that playlist below and yeah you can check out all my other videos on all things motherhood or at least me sharing my experience of motherhood so yeah um <laughs> so baby girl is officially 10 months um it's crazy because she's just growing and is more amazing with every day um so new milestones that she's reached um again i haven't been to the pediatrician with her since she was about maybe three months or so I, I can't remember how old but when she was basically a newborn still she's been growing beautifully she hasn't been sick at all still yeah i don't know how much that she weighs and her length right now because i haven't measured her in like about two months or so to be honest <laughs> um but she's heavy uh, the last time I weighed her, she was about 19 pounds, or she was 19 pounds, and she was 28 inches, but like I said, that was two months ago, so I'm assuming she's about 30 or so inches at this point, because she's definitely gotten taller, and she's probably around 20-ish pounds, um... Cause she she moves a lot so she's it's not that she's skinny but she's you know a little slender baby because <laughs> she she's always walking about so yeah she's walking that's a really big huge step that she's been taking um she started walking about two three weeks ago she was taking like a few steps on her own and then it just kept going from there and now she literally never crawls she only walks all the time everywhere and people are always so surprised when they see her they're like she's 10 months i'm like yeah and she just turned 10 months it's not like she's you know a few weeks into this like she just turned 10 months and she is walking very well without any help she doesn't need help at all she just she's running sometimes like <laughs> she is really moving um so yeah, she's finally eating more solids, which is just good for me because I'm not going to lie, breastfeeding has been a little difficult lately and I will get into that in a little. Um, so first, let me just talk about the solids. So that's why I'm just happy that she's been eating a little bit more so she's feeding a little bit less. Um, she loves Cheerios. She loves Cheerios. <laughs> she likes apples um she likes peanut butter she likes smoothies any type of smoothie she likes bread and butter i pretty much just give her like toast i pretty much just give her anything if i'm eating something like she likes sweet potato or mashed potato if i'm eating something and there's something on my plate that is baby friendly i just try it out with her she loves oatmeal oatmeal is her favorite um but yeah so it's not like i'm always like oh here lara well now more so now i'm sure that she's getting food every day but yeah i'm just i'm still not forcing it because she's definitely still taking her time and not eating as much as i feel like an average 10 month old but at least she's now more interested showing like trying out the foods showing interest grabbing them touching them all that she loves water she loves her water sippy cup she's always drinking water so we're still breastfeeding and we've been breastfeeding <laughs> since the beginning but i don't know recently i've just been having a lot come to the surface with breastfeeding and i don't know if other moms can relate to this but it's just been like now i just all of a sudden hate it i used to love breastfeeding um and i just thought it was just the bomb.com i was like yeah my baby's gonna breastfeed as long as she wants but now i've been having a change of heart it's just felt like it's bringing up a lot of past traumas i think 
and just autonomy over my own body just the way she just gets really aggressive and like she'll you know if I'm about to take out my boobs she'll like rip my shirt up for me and just grab on and just like she's very aggressive with how she handles me and I think it's literally triggering a lot of different things within myself and so it's making me hate the experience of breastfeeding because I keep having to like uphold these boundaries and I'm literally like kind of coming to terms with this like as I'm speaking this right now so yeah it's 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 a lot it's a lot um you know we're still doing it and we're still in here but I've definitely been a lot more just not as into it as I used to be um I'm hoping this is kind of a phase that I'm you know that I have to work through and it'll go away because I do want to breastfeed for as long as possible and the way she acts like <laughs> she clearly does too so and I know how beneficial breast milk is like I said she hasn't gotten sick she's growing beautifully she's walking she's doing all these things way ahead of her time um or she's just way ahead of all the milestones and all that stuff and I feel like a part of that is because she's breastfed and so I just want to keep that momentum going and yeah it's still a bonding experience for us and it's still helping me work through some of my own issues so I'm grateful for it nonetheless and I'm obviously going to continue because I see the greater picture you're not alone if you're feeling this way because I just feel like as a mom people will talk about if it's like if you breastfeed it's either you love it or you just don't breastfeed but I feel like it needs to be discussed that no there's times when I fucking hate it and especially you know when she wakes me up she because she still doesn't sleep through the night so think about the fact that it's like me as a mother, as a person, as a being, outside of this child, like I have not slept a full night's sleep in over 10 months because every single day she's woken up at some point in the middle of the night. Like, yeah, it's frustrating. <laughs> I want you to sleep. I want you to sleep so I can sleep because I'm like tired of being woken up in the middle of the night to feed you and then like she'll be feeding. And the thing is too, she's got teeth now. That's really a a big thing I didn't even include she's got teeth now and she'll like it's not that she bites on my boob but sometimes she, she'll bite on them or some it's like this nibble kind of thing and I hate it because <laughs> it's like just it kind of hurts and she'll like try to play with the other nipple with her hand and it's just it's just a lot of stimulation that I just don't always want um it's hard to fully explain but that's another development and she has teeth her two bottom ones are pretty like her two front bottom ones are pretty developed and then her front her top two front ones one of them is a lot more out and the other one is like you can see it but it's like still coming out um so her little front teeth and scissors I think are coming in and that also helps with why she likes her cheerios and different things like that because it's like she can crunch on things better now or bite on things she understands the concept of chewing um this little she's able to pick up the smallest little things on the ground because she knows how to do that now like before it was like using her whole hand now every time she's on the ground she'll pick up like one of my hairs or something that's on the ground any little tiny thing she will get it um she's amazing though even though she is a wild child and it's a lot dealing with her every day but it's keeping me young it really is I enjoy it um, especially that she's just more interactive now and communicative so she knows some sign language so we're able to communicate in that way like she knows this is booby and it's so funny because she'll be like well like coming up to me and standing there and she'll just like look at my hand and then look at hers and go <laughs> she's like mom where's that hat? it's just the cutest thing and it's just such a like that was such a mom moment right there <laughs> I'm like it's okay it's not that cute she's signing to you she's hungry but I'm like yeah that's my baby um but yeah um so she's like more communicative or if I'm like if I'll go like this she'll clap back at me 
um she's learning high five and even if you talk to her like you would have conversations with her and she'll respond in baby but it may, like you just get it it's telepathic i guess for me and her but she be she be chatting away she be having her little conversations she's very intelligent um we don't give babies enough credit you could really have whole conversations with them they're lit they know a lot um so yeah 10 months postpartum we out here i'm proud of myself i'm proud of my baby it's been a long road <clears throat> and it hasn't been easy but you know it's really it's been a beautiful experience for me to learn more about myself and ways in which i have to heal that's really what motherhood has helped me see within myself and i'm really grateful for that because i've been able to kind of see the ways in which you know i'm a shitty person too i think so often we're constantly like projecting that onto other people and the people around us like you did this to me you suck because of this like i'm in this position because of this person but really what motherhood has taught me is how important accountability and responsibility is and how important it is to just like constantly take everything that you experience and just go back to self every time it helps it gets me it's just ha helped me grow and evolve in many ways like i'm nowhere near I, where i know i'm going to be but i'm so much farther from where i used to be and for that i'm proud and just excited to continue along this journey and see like constantly shedding layers constantly being real with myself and addressing the ways in which i'm toxic to myself i'm i'm the one that put me in this position i'm the reason i'm here i'm the reason that shit's hitting the fan like you got and even if even if someone did contribute to that who the fuck cares if they're not like you gotta at some point let that go face yourself and do what you need to do to move forward not everything is about everyone else i think everything is actually about you yourself so yeah that is what i'm grateful for with motherhood another thing that i wanted to say was i feel like motherhood helped me chill out because all my life i feel like i was very masculine in the sense that i was constantly doing 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 but i feel like a lot of my life i wasn't as connected to that feminine energy and knowing and move and kind of like making sense of how I was doing or slowing up you know relaxing resting I was connected to the my feminine energy in a lot of other ways but I think I was I wasn't expressing myself as feminine as I should have I was really expressing myself very masculine just <laughs> all the time and I feel like motherhood helped me embrace that femininity more in a way where I was really just in a state of just a cocoon kind of um, and that started from pregnancy onwards I lost everything like all the things that I had worked so hard for they all just kind of fell apart um, but it needed to happen that way because I was becoming too dependent on all of these things to validate me, to validate my success. Um, and I've really had to start from the ground up and not being able to be as like, do, do, do. Like I would be, I'll be the type that's like, okay, I want to do something. I'm about to work three jobs, save the money to do it and then do it. <laughs> and I would do it. But I can't do that with a child or at least as easily as I could have and I don't want to anymore like that's not the type of shit I'm trying to do is work for somebody else um it's like taking what I've learned and playing this game way smarter like using my intuition plus that masculine energy so integrating that divine feminine and, the, and that divine masculine energy because my masculinity was still unbalanced in a lot of ways my femininity was unbalanced in a lot of ways like those are things that I'm still grasping and working on to this day but the important thing is being real with yourself as a mother and being like yo how long am i gonna use this as an excuse that i'm a mom i can't do this i'm a mom i can't do that like fuck that 
make the time, prioritize, do what you gotta do. Um, and that's what I had to say to myself, like, bitch, boss up, <laughs> fuck this shit. Um, you know, get out of the funk and start embracing your strengths again. And baby just woke up <laughs> and amplifying them <clears throat> to the max. So, yeah. Right now I'm taking a break off social media because I feel like I need to reapply discipline in my life and help. That's kind of like what came to me when I was just meditating on how to balance my divine masculine energy or at least get more in touch with it. And that's what my like divine masculine guides kind of told me was discipline um so i want to do a fast as well of some sort but first things first is like fasting from social media because every time i'll do this to myself where i try to like cut out everything right then and there i'll be cold turkey with it that's when i be fucking up so i'm being real with myself and it's like all right no social media for a little bit and then I'm going to add on to that and continue with the no social media and then add on to that and continue with the no social media plus the one I did, you know, keep building on it, snowball effect. And it's been working so far, like I haven't been on social media and I haven't even been tempted to go on and it's been two days, which sounds crazy, but it's like I literally would be going on that shit every single day. Hey, you want to be in the video? You still sleepy? She just like laid back down like mom. <laughs> Hey, Munch. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. Ten months postpartum. Crazy to say. Um, but <laughs> I really feel like they kind of they kind of emphasize that the first like six to eight weeks or even first three months sometimes. That's like that's the postpartum period. But, OK, but I personally believe that the postpartum period is that first year. Come here. <laughs> yeah, it's that first year. Um, and because, and that's another thing too, is like mom and baby are thought of as like two separate entities off, off the bat. And in my doula training, one of my the trainers had said, you know, mom and baby are like, Hey, girl mom and baby they're a what is it duod or duet whatever they're just one for that first year of life they should be considered as one like postpartum that fourth that fourth trimester is longer than they want to make it seem it's really an adjustment because not only is baby born but mom is reborn and that needs to be acknowledged it's a hard adjustment especially with that first child I believe I mean I'm sure with any any amount of children but that first child is that initiation so it's it's an intense experience because I can only imagine going through this again but you would just be a little more like okay I got this now uh, I remember this a little bit the first time around it's like yo <laughs> this is all new what the fuck so it takes getting used to I remember there was once that I went out to eat and this girl was sitting next to me or like at the table next to me and she had a newborn with her and this was a couple weeks back this was probably like when Lyra was seven months or so and I you know I started talking with her about the baby and everything and she was afraid to breastfeed in public and because she was like do you do it and I'm like yeah I breastfeed in public all the time she was just like how'd you get over that like do you cover yourself and all this stuff because she was young like I was um maybe younger than I am and I was like I don't cover up I just breastfeed her and I'm like trust me when I was when if when she was first born and I was first breastfeeding I was like that too I didn't want to do it out in public everywhere it took some getting used to but once you're used to it then I just got to the point where I'm like I don't give a fuck sometimes my boob will be hanging out in my house and I just don't even realize because she's just always it's just second nature at this point um but yeah and i was talking to her and she was just telling me about her fears of breastfeeding and she asked me does it get easier and the way she said it with, with was with such 
like I knew exactly what she meant because I remember when Lyra was a newborn I had asked one of my friends who had a baby who was older than Lyra the same exact question at that point I'm like does it get easier because it's a lot it is definitely a transition especially if you don't have the type of support that you would like to have um or that is necessary for this transition because like I said I shouldn't even have to worry about you know working and doing all these things but I have to because no one else thinks about it for me so gotta get it done gotta do what I gotta do for me and baby girl so that's that um more videos to come as always be sure to like comment subscribe check out my other videos um yeah peace out y'all <laughs>